Harley-Davidson revealed eight new models for the 2022 lineup, each powered with the most powerful factory-installed motor offered by Harley-Davidson, the Milwaukee 8117. Hello everyone, I am Mike and welcome to New Bike Mike where I like to share information on new bikes that I find interesting. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please remember to hit the subscribe button. After all, it is free. Harley-Davidson revealed eight new models which consisted of two cruisers, the new Lowrider S and the Lowrider ST. Two new performance-oriented baggers, the Street Glide ST and the Road Glide ST. The remaining four models are all from the Custom Vehicle Operations Group and include the CVO Street Glide, CVO Road Glide, a CVO Trike, and for 2022 we get a CVO Road Glide Limited to replace the CVO Limited that was offered last year. Today we're going to look at each of these models briefly, but don't worry, I will be featuring many of these models in a dedicated video in the near future. That way we can really dig into these new models and learn more about them. Before we get started, I want to mention some things that these bikes all have in common. All of these models are fitted with the Milwaukee 8 117 motor, which has 126 foot-pounds of torque and 106 horsepower. Also, the ST models and the Lowrider S are only available in vivid black or gunship gray. 1. The Lowrider S. This model originated in 1977. While it has disappeared occasionally from the lineup over the years, it is still one of the most popular models in the Harley Cruiser lineup. Now, in 2022, it is the first of the existing soft tail models to get fitted with the Milwaukee 8117 powertrain. The powertrain, front end, and exhaust are totally blacked out. With a radiant cast aluminum wheel, 19 inch front and 16 inch rear diameter, finished in matte dark bronze to contrast the motorcycle's dark components. For 2022, the Lowrider S got a new handlebar mounted combination analog tachometer and digital speedometer which replaces the iconic tank console instrumentation as seen on the previous Lowrider S models. The handlebar location places the gauges closer to the rider's line of sight. A low profile textured black tank console with the FXLRS badge now tops the fuel tank. Outstanding lighting performance is provided by signature LED headlamps and an LED tail light and brake light. A taller rear mono shock is featured in the rear of the Lowrider S this year and it raises the bike up for an improved rider comfort and about 1.3 degrees of more lean angle than the 2021 Lowrider S. As a result, we'll see more ground clearance also. An under the seat hydraulic preload adjustment allows the rider to adjust the suspension performance for their preference. The 43mm inverted front fork remains unchanged as well as the dual front disc brakes which include ABS standard. 2. Lowrider ST Many people have asked what the ST actually stands for. Well, in the press release by the motor company, it says, this is how Harley-Davidson does sport touring. So now we can assume the ST stands for sport touring. The most striking feature on this new model is the frame mounted fairing, which has a shape inspired by the classic FXRT sport glide. The sharper creases and revised proportions in the Lowrider ST fairing provide a look that is intended to be modern, athletic, and aerodynamically superior to the FXRT fairing, yet reminiscent of that classic FXRT style. And I think Harley-Davidson absolutely nailed this fairing. This model is probably one of the most exciting products seen from Harley-Davidson in recent years outside of the new Revolution Max powered models. The new frame mounted fairing has triple split stream vents to help limit rider head buffeting at highway speeds. The windshield is six inches high and comes in dark smoke tint. And the fairing has a single five and three quarter inch LED headlight. This model also gets the lockable, rigid clamshell saddlebags from the Sport Glide. The bags can be opened with one hand by a seated rider. An adapting device allows the saddlebag lids to open smoothly. The bags can be removed in just seconds with an internal quick release mechanism. The combined saddlebag capacity is 1.9 cubic feet. The raised fitment of the saddlebags high above the exhaust reminds us that this bike is built with performance in mind and that the bags won't be the first thing you scrape in a lean. The same taller rear mono shock featured in the Lowrider S model is found on the ST, as well as the same inverted front forks and dual disc brakes. The ST has a 4 inch pullback riser and instrumentation is provided by a compact digital display that is inserted into the handlebar risers that looks like what we have seen on the Street Bob 114 and the Softail Standard. The fairing does not have gauges or audio functionality in stock form, yet Rockford Fosgate offers an inner fairing audio kit that was designed alongside the Lowrider ST. The system includes a compact 250 watt amplifier and a pair of five and a quarter inch woofers with two remote tweeters. It connects to a mobile device via Bluetooth to play stored or streaming audio. Three and four, Street Glide ST and Road Glide ST. 
I believe these models are inspired by the Moto America King of Baggers race bikes. Performance baggers have been a growing trend for several years now, and Harley-Davidson is offering you a bagger that is more suited for those kind of custom builds. As we mentioned, these models are powered by the M8117 powertrain that is blacked out with the bronze trim. No chrome finishes are available on these ST models. The front fender is trimmed for a more sporty profile and a lighter look, and standard height saddle bags replace the extended bags you'll find on the special models. A new solo seat gives this bagger a lean and aggressive look. A standard height rear shock also provides a little more suspension travel in the rear and gives these models a little bit more of a performance look, but they still offer great touring features like cruise control, GPS, infotainment, smart security system with proximity based fob, just like the respective special models. The last four models are from the CVO family. If you didn't know, CVO stands for Custom Vehicle Operations, which is basically means that these are the top of the line, most customized and decked out production bikes from Harley-Davidson. Prior to 2022, only the CVO models had the 117 powertrain. Unlike the Lowrider S and ST models, we get more options for color and finish combinations, and the colors are unique to the CVOs and not something you'll find on other production models in 2022. CVOs also come standard with cornering rider safety enhancements by Harley-Davidson, which is a suite of rider aids and TPMS. The CVOs also get high-performance motorcycle audio powered by Rockford Fosgate as well. 5. CVO Street Glide In 2022, we have three new paint options. First, Hightail Yellow Pearl, Black Hole, with Lightning Silver, Two-Tone, and Bright Chrome finishes. The second is Envious Green with Black Hole Fade, with a flame pattern and gloss black finishes. And the third is blue steel solid color with scorched chrome finishes. Six, CVO Road Glide. We get three paint options in the shark nose version, including wicked orange pearl, black hole with lightning silver two-tone and bright chrome finishes. Envious green with black hole fade with flame pattern and gloss black finishes. And blue steel solid color with scorched chrome finishes. Seven, CVO Road Glide Limited. We haven't seen a Road Glide Limited in a CVO in a few years now, but in 2022, we do get one back instead of the Ultra Limited we had in the lineup last year. There's three color schemes, which are Wicked Orange Pearl Black Hole with Lightning Silver Two-Tone and Bright Chrome Finishes, Hightail Yellow Pearl Black Hole with Lightning Silver Two-Tone and Bright Chrome Finishes, and Dante's Red with Dante's Black Sun Glow Fade Flame Pattern and Gloss Black Finishes. Eight, CVO Tri-Glide. In 2022, the premium trike offered from Harley-Davidson only has one paint scheme, and it's Dante's Red with Dante's Black Sun Glow Fade Flame Pattern and Bright Chrome Finishes. Don't forget to like the video. It really helps the channel grow, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from New Bike Mike. See you in the next one.